little bit, huh? Yeah. How are you uh, guys uh, adjusting to this? You know, it, it feels good. It feels like, uh, you know, it's kind of like we've gotten the ball running. We've got that wheel turning, and uh, it's just a matter of, of, of keep running, keep keep going. I feel like it's a good feeling, you know, kind of in the middle of it. You're in the middle of football, uh, kind of back in the grind of things, and, and uh, they're throwing a lot at us every day. Every day coming out here, throwing a lot at us. Defense throws a lot at us. Uh, I feel like we're getting great work. Can you compare how much your, your teammates know the offense now compared to that first day? Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to hard to compare to put in words. I mean, obviously we're a lot further along, uh, to say the least, but uh, still a long ways off from where we need to go. Um, you know, I, I think uh, uh, definitely making strides and, and just got to continue doing it. What's been the most pleasant surprise so far? Uh, Anything that really jumped out there before? You know, for me, I, I just, uh, I guess one thing, I, I like the volume. I like the, how much they're throwing at us for an off season. Um, you know, I like how much the, the coaches are demanding of us. Um, I think it's a great thing. You know, continue to push us. Uh, expect a lot out of us, everybody. You know, um, you know. I think it's going to make a difference come the fall. Dwayne Bowson last week, he's going to be like receiving <laughs> touchdowns and tomorrow going to be rushing. Yeah. You're the quarterback. How do you make that happen? I'm not uh, not worried about that. I'm really trying to lead the league in wins. Uh, it would be great, but you know, it, uh, it's such a long way off. I'm, I'm not thinking about that to be honest at, at all. Um, I mean, Jacksonville's the, the date we're all looking at. Uh, that's all we care about. We've got a lot of practices to get ready, and we need a lot of practices to get ready for that game. Uh, we've got to play a lot of catch-up. Uh, we don't have the luxury of uh, having been together for four or five years and been in the same system and play catch-up right now. We've got to make up ground. How do you compare this offense to the country? Once again, I mean, it's, it's hard. I don't want to get into the these things. Uh, it just seems like a lot of thinking. Don't see more of the offense now. I don't know. I mean, I have much more Coach Reed brought in a guy who obviously pioneered the pistol offense. You see a little bit of that too. Do you get the sense that he's the kind of coach that will just continue to tweak and try new things at all times? I think his track record speaks for himself. You know, uh, Coach Reed in the sense that he's gonna he's gonna put his players in positions to succeed. I think he's not this isn't a cookie cutter offense. Yes, it's the West Coast and that's the language that we speak, and, and that is kind of the outline of the offense. But I think ultimately it's. This is what this time's for. I mean, this is finding out what our strengths are, uh, trying to work on our weaknesses out here. But ultimately, yeah, come come season, it's gonna it's gonna be trying to put us in, in positions to succeed. And then for us as players, we gotta go out and make plays. I mean, that's the bottom line. So I think that's just a part of it. So are there aspects of this offense that they put in that you feel especially comfortable with that you, that you liked from either previous offenses or things that obviously want to take advantage of your strengths? I, I mean, at this point. Uh, uh, it'd be hard for me to answer that. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of it I like that I'm familiar with that I've done. Um, like I said, you know, uh, the last couple of years running, you know, West Coast type offense, so a lot of the verbiage is the same. Um, some different, but uh, there is some carry there. Any particular um, receiver or just player on the offense that, that stood out to you that you didn't know this or that that has been impressive? Uh, you know, at this point, it's hard to say. I, I really feel like they're all doing such a great job. I mean, if I had to pick one, um, you know, for me, I, not knowing much about uh, Jackson Professor, you know, him coming in, knowing he was kind of the, the running back receiver, and, and uh, seeing how fluid he is going in and out of those roles has uh, been really impressive for me to watch. Um, it's easy to talk about in the meeting room and say, hey, let's put this guy at receiver and, and have him run routes and be natural at it, uh, and then put him back in the backfield. And, you know, and to do a multitude of things like that, it's another thing to see it live. And he's. Uh, uh, you know, special guy, and it's, uh, I think he's really taking it, uh, taking it on. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Ed. Thanks.